Welcome back to Lost in Transit. On today's episode, it's a little different. Instead of interviewing people, I kind of have a question for all of you that listen. What inspires you to travel? Is it books? Is it movies? Is it Instagram or social media? This morning, well, I guess it was this afternoon, I was getting cheesesteaks with some friends in Philly, and the woman in front of me was drawing in what I would only assume was a travel journal. Um, she was drawing the signs in the cheesesteak place. And then I saw later as I was leaving, she was drawing her cheesesteak. And I thought it was the most incredible thing ever that that is such a rad way to document your travels. So yeah, I was curious as to what inspires you to travel. For me, inspiration came from a lot of different places. Originally, I grew up in a small town in Minnesota and we used to travel. I mean, it was only an hour and a half, but at the time it was still kind of like traveling to the city to see shows, go to concerts, hang out with friends, just kind of do all kinds of stuff. Um, and then as I got a job in the music industry, it became more of a thing where I would see more of the U.S. and I wanted to see more of the world. And then once I started seeing more of the world, I wanted to see more of the world and it just kind of snowballed. And now I try and see everywhere I can. Um, but there's always been a continuing flow of inspiration. In the way of TV, obviously, Anthony Bourdain's shows, No Reservations, and Parts Unknown have been a huge inspiration for me. I love Parts Unknown. It's probably one of my favorite TV shows ever. There's also a Canadian TV show on Netflix called Departures. It is a great show, and it's very simple. Um, it's about two backpackers and a camera guy who travel the world. It's great. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest it. But in the early days of all of my travels, I would say that my biggest television inspiration is a TV show from Finland called Mad Ventures. Uh, it was, it's a, it is a TV show with two people, a camera guy and a host, and they swap back and forth. Um, I think there are two or three seasons of Finnish and one season in English. And the show is incredible. They did so many crazy things, jumping off buildings in Russia and doing an ayahuasca trip in the Amazon. I can't even begin to think of any more. Uh, but the opening scene of the, of the English edition of the show, the host is in a tattoo parlor and has his arm cut open, has a diamond put inside his arm worth $10,000 just in case they find themselves in some incredibly outrageous situation where they are out of money. To me, that's incredible. Um, in the way of print, uh, Paul Thoreau books have been a huge inspiration. Last Train to Zona Verde, Dark Star Savari, even The Tao of Travel, Deep South. So many of these books that he's written over the years, they transport you to, to that place. They're so incredible. The man is a wizard with the word, with the written word. There have been other books I've read. Uh, some of the Bill Bryson books have been incredible. Uh, a Walk in the Woods, which has recently made a new movie. Um, I think it was called I'm a Stranger Here Myself. I think that was a, the name of the book. That book was great. Uh, and then Jack Kerouac's On the Road. That was probably, as an adult, the first book I read on my own outside of high school. Um, and it took me a while to read it, but I remember being on tour with a band and we were doing some crazy fly tour where it was like India, Greece, Russia, Istanbul, I think Israel, and then a bunch of weird Eastern European places. And that book like resonates with those places for me because I remember being in those places reading that book and it's just so good. And I mean, if you haven't read it, I, it's a classic. You should read it. Another way I find inspiration while, while traveling and while at home is social media. Um, Instagram is a huge part of helping me find places to go. Maybe not necessarily helping me find places to photograph, but helping me find places to go. As, uh, as Jess says, blue water, pod, blue water. So, you know, we look for places like that and they're incredible. Some of the Instagram accounts that inspire me are people like Steve McCurry, who might be one of the few photographers I actually own a book by. 
Jody McDonald, Chris Burkhard, Alex Stroll. The list is very long. Um, Nicholas Marino, who you might remember from a previous podcast, he's a huge travel inspiration. So he, I think the man is crazy, but I think what he did riding a bike all over Asia and Africa is incredible. And I found him on Instagram. Uh, Mario Rigby, who just finished walking the length of Africa. He is a huge inspiration to me. I think that's just incredible that anybody can do that. So that's just a little bit about what inspires me. I'm curious to hear what inspires you. What books, what movies, what documentaries, what podcasts, what photographers, anything. Uh, so shoot me an email, lostintransitpc at gmail.com, or shoot me a message on Twitter, uh, at lostintransitpc. Until next time, get lost. Thank you.